Today we will learn about polymorphic relationship. A polymorphic relationship allows the target model to belong to more than one type of model using a single association. First we will understand these tables, student, staff and parents. A student may have many images, a student may have address and a contact information. And parents will also have image, address and contact. Using these tables, we will understand allocant polymorphic relationship. So let's close all of our files and let's create migration table. It created a migration table for us. Close the terminal. Let's open our previous migration. Copy these lines. Paste it in up function. We will also copy this drop if exist line and paste it in down function. Drop if exist. First table is our image. Second table and third table. Second is address and third is contact. We will create only one one column here path and another is morphs and we will name it image we will use this morphs name somewhere else then for address and we have three columns address line one and this morphs column address and then for contact table Uh, we will set here only one column is phone num and let's change its length to 15 characters and name it morphs column to contact now let's uh, migrate this php artisan migrate refresh so it will remove all of our previous tables and will create new tables for us let's check these tables let's check it in designer Now these are the morphs column, image type and image ID and address type, address ID and contact type and contact ID. These columns are automatically created by morph. Now let's create our route. Route get slash morph and I will create this route to our home controller. 
and new method morph copy this morph and let's create our method public function morph and let's copy these two lines id and find that's it now we have to create our three models for our tables image address and contact Now let's go to our address model. This is our table address. And we don't have timestamps, so timestamps so false. And now fillable fields we have three address line one two and three and then public function address and return dollar this and more two copy these lines and paste it in model contact I am not changing this function address Now in the students model, let's create a function for images. Return uh, this morph many and the model of images is image and the morph column that we created was with the name of image. Do you remember in the time of migration we created morph image? That's the name is here. And for address, we have address, model address. And for contact, we have contact model and the morph column is contact. Save these files. Let's create our first image of a student. Path. Now we have we don't have any data right now. Just copy and paste this. And now we have path, the student image name, image type, and image ID. Let's do this for our address and contact for the student. We have address and contact.
now we have two images of the same student we have address for this student and we have contact information for our student one thank you for watching this lecture and i will see you in the next one this is our assignment to create for staff and parents bye bye